Hello, welcome to my tutorial on the HP 50G and RPN mode. Okay, I've got my screen capture set up. So you got the, the calculators over here on the left hand side and uh, my writing pad over on the right. Okay, turn this calculator on. All right, let's start with RPN mode and, and kind of what it is. Um, if you're familiar with algebraic mode, you're familiar with the, the input method let's say 2 plus 2 and then hitting the equals key to come up with 4 on an RPN calculator it you input data a little bit differently instead of hitting 2 and then you hit the plus key and then you hit 2 and then you hit the equals key and that spits out 4 instead of doing that what you'll end up doing is you'll press the 2 key you'll hit the enter key hit two again and then you hit the plus key okay so let me demonstrate that over here on the calculator two enter two plus and you can see it spits out the number four now what would happen if we did two plus two equals two plus uh, we get an error right away. It doesn't work. Not with the RPN function. Okay. Um, RPN uses something called a stack. Alright, so let's go over the stack here. You can see on the calculator on the left hand side there's seven positions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven going upwards. What happens in RPN mode is when you put in a number let's say 77 and hit the enter key that 77 gets put into position number one okay now I'm gonna put in some more numbers and hit the enter key and you're gonna see those numbers get pushed up into the stack so 77 will get pushed up and pushed up again pushed up again pushed up again as I keep entering numbers so let me do that 66 enter 55 enter 44 enter 33 22 and 11 okay so what happened here is you can see that I've correlated number 77 with stack 7 66 with 6 on down so 11 is in position 1 and 22 is in position 2 okay I did the 11, 22, 33 to make things easy, so you can you can see how I'm going to manipulate this stack. Now, when I'm dealing with RPN, I usually am going to manipulate the numbers in positions one and two. Okay, positions 33 or sorry, position three on up, they're not going to be affected by my calculations um, until those numbers get shifted down into positions one and two. You can you can think of just three through seven as a as just a temporary like a holding pattern for your for your numbers until you get ready to use them. So let's say I wanted to do something with this eleven and twenty two. Let's say I wanted to divide twenty two by eleven. Easy enough, the numbers are already there. Come down here and hit the divide key, and you can see that the answer is two. The rest of these numbers simply got shifted down. We use the number twenty and we use the number 11 what came out was number 2 which then took the number 1 spot okay let's clear the number 2 by hitting the backspace arrow let's go ahead and put 22 in and 11 so now we're back to where we started well what if we don't want to play with 11 and 22 what if we wanted to play with 66 and 55 what would you do then you've got this arrow up key Okay, you can press the arrow up key and you see that gives you a little arrow right here on number one. Press that up key again and that arrow keeps going up. And what we're going to do is we're going to select 66 and 55, okay, by rolling them from the top down to the bottom and they're going to come up here, okay. So we're going to say roll. You see the little roll key here on the screen correlates to your F5 key on the calculator. Go ahead and press that. 
See how 66 used to be here? It rolled. Now it's on the bottom. 11 got shifted up along with all the other numbers. And since we wanted to play with 66 and 55, we're going to hit roll one more time. And 55 is now at the bottom with 66, and the rest of everything got shifted up. So here, now we can play with these numbers. If you wanted to, if you wanted to play with, let's say, 11 and 22, and this is, you know, you, you got the calculator screen, you wanted to play with 11 and 22, you can roll the other way. You can roll these things down by hitting the F6 key. Roll D stands for roll down. Now 55 was at the bottom, it swung itself up to the top. Now we're going to hit F6 again. 66 was on the bottom, now 66 is on the top. Okay, now we're back to where we started. <clears throat> if we wanted to switch positions 22, or switch numbers 22 and 11 around, we can do that by hitting the right arrow key. Okay, you can hit this key as you want to, and you can see that the 11 and 22, they just flip themselves around so you can get them into position that you want. The way RPN works, you've got position number two, position number one. Now, whatever number you have in two or one, actually, I'm going to change this. We're going to call 2y 1x. Um... Whatever you have, let's say you wanted to divide, okay, whatever you have in Y will be divided by X. Pretty critical to remember this. If you have 22 in position number 2 and you have 11 in position 1 and you wanted to divide these, you've got to keep in mind that 22 it would look like this. 22 divided by 11, not 11 by 22. If you wanted to, do, to divide 11 by 22, hit the right arrow key, so that way your 22 will go into 11 when you hit divide. Okay? And then you come up with 1 half. Um, put these back in. Okay. So anyway, that, that's kind of how you manipulate this thing called a stack in RPN mode. Well, that's some basic manipulation. You can go a little bit further. You can play with a lot of these different buttons up here. Um, or hit the next key and get even more buttons for, for manipulating the stack. But I'm not going to go into all that right now. Okay. Um, some other basic functions you're going to want to know. I think we went over the, cl the, the backspace, which is the arrow. That will get rid of one line here. If you are, If you're currently entering information into this line you can hit the arrow and it'll delete one character at a time okay if you're if you if you're not currently entering information the backspace will clear the entire line <clears throat> if you want to clear the entire screen hit the orange or yeah about an orange color right shift and then you hit this so you hit the clear button and that as you see will clear the entire screen so anyway, that's a basic introduction on RPN. Um, if you have any questions, comment to the bottom and let me know and maybe I can repost another video uh, with your specific questions. Thank you.